in this video, we're going to be talking about the best export settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, first of all, the export settings that you choose to use for your particular project is completely subjective. It's all up to you and there's no right or wrong way of doing it. But to get the best results for your footage that you're working with, I always recommend that you choose an export settings that matches the source files that you're working with. So if you're working with 720p HD footage or 1080p full HD footage or even 4K footage, whatever export settings you choose to use should not necessarily be larger than the resolution of your source files. So if you're working with 1080p footage, I don't recommend exporting at 4K, but can you actually export it at 4K to get 4K footage for your intended platform? Of course you can, you absolutely can. You can do whatever you want. But remember, Premiere Pro will be scaling up, will be stretching your footage and you will naturally lose quality. So for example, when I'm working on my YouTube videos, here I have a completely edited video in Premiere Pro. What I'll normally do is just go ahead and hit Control and M for my export module. And then I'll choose my file format which is normally H.264 because YouTube likes MP4 files. And then I'd normally do match source, which is matching the footage that I'm working with, right? Because I'm working with HD files and I don't want Premiere Pro to do anything extra for me, right? I have all my settings set in my sequence that I just edited, but you have a lot of options here. If you go ahead and hit this preset dropdown menu, you'll see here that you have like Facebook, 1080p and 4k you also have like twitter 720p and full hd and you have vimeo and youtube settings and if you want it you can also click and use this youtube 1080p full hd and if you look right here you'll see that the file size changed right so now it's 2.3 gigs before when i had it on match source high bitrate it was 1470 megabyte, 1 1.4 gigs in comparison to 2.3 gigs, right? So it's all subjective, it's all up to you. The rule of thumb is from photography, when you're shooting, try to get it right in camera first, right? And if you wanted to translate that to video, when you're exporting, try and get it right in your sequence first, in your edit, so that when you're exporting, you don't have to think about anything extra. So if you want, HD footage, 1080p full HD, edit in a 1080p full HD sequence. If you want to export 4K, make sure you're working with 4K footage in a 4K editing sequence, right? So that's all there is to it. And then when you found some settings that you like, all you have to do is just go ahead and click export. That's how you do it. That's how you choose the best export settings in Premiere Pro. So have you ever wondered how to choose the right settings when exporting? Did anything that we discussed today help you? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.